introduce Mr. Sean Pelton and House of Diablo.
I just want to say what a thrill it is to be here. I want to introduce everybody. On organ, we got Brian Mitchell. He actually is the, uh, the Diablo of House of Diablo. We call him Diablo. And on bass, Conrad Korsh. I love him. And on guitar, Jeff Golub. He was here uh, a couple years ago with uh, Steve Ferroni. And on trombone, Clark Gayton. But uh, I tell you, this is a real dream to be uh, able to, you know, lead your own band. Because as a drummer, you guys know we're always working for somebody else. You know, as a sideman and then telling you what to do. And this is the first time I got to tell cats what to do. And they had to listen. It was great. So, you know, I was, when I was first asked to do this, I was uh, so thrilled and... On one hand, I was also scared to play in front of a bunch of drummers. And I thought to myself, self, pull it together, man. What are you gonna, what do you have to offer or to say? And, and uh, it's wild. I played more drum solos in the last 20 minutes than I have in the last five years running around New York, you know, surviving, trying to play drums. And I thought, well, if there's anything I could try to give, 
you know, as far as from my experience, would be maybe something about working, you know, because I, I, working as a, as a drummer, like I said, you're always working for someone else and trying to make a living just playing drums. And, um, you know, one of the things they never talk about when you're coming up and stuff is when you're always working for someone else, it's dealing with people, you know, and like people relationships and, and things like that. And uh, how you handle that, you know, has so much to do with uh, getting called back. And uh, for instance, this Cheryl thing, I was lucky enough to start playing with Cheryl Crow. And uh, yeah, yeah, I feel really fortunate. And uh, you know, I know a lot of great drummers' names, I think, came into the hat for that. And uh, a lot of the feedback was like, well, man, great drummer, but I just don't know if I want to spend six months on a bus with that cat or, you know, like it was things that had to do much more than playing, you know, paradiddles and, and all sorts of stuff. So I don't know, just keep that in mind. Like if you want to try to make a living as a drummer, it gets into having to deal with people and the whole thing, you know, making music together. And uh, so I just wanted to pass that along because uh, that goes beyond you know, paradiddles and whatnot. Fucking going on tonight, I can feel it in my bone. In a minute of mystery, there's a day with the unknown. There's a voice in the shadows, there's a rumbling from below. Lights are growing dim, this place is about ready to blow. Something funky is going on. Something funky is going on.
see the ruby getting loud. I see the talkie getting loose. Dance will get it wild. Oh, everybody getting juice. Man, I'm taking off the jackets. And then I'm putting in the shit. Women are letting down the hill. And the high end of the skirt. Something for you, go on. build some kind of mutant wild kits and sometimes they love it and sometimes they say man that guy is on crack I don't know don't you usually see a washboard on the drum kit <laughs> this probably wouldn't work on a Celine Dion record <laughs> Well, let's see what happens. This is a little freaky, freaky wig out.
Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Pelton with House of Diablo.